So, Karen, tell me a little bit about what's going on with funding, and in particular, could you tell us a little bit about what the archives team is up to with funding proposals? Sure, I'd love to. Um, there's been a lot of high energy the last two weeks around the ICA's Global Archives Project, and that happened because Christina Wolf, who is the archivist at the Library of Oklahoma City University was here in town at the 4750 North Sheridan Road building with colleagues who are archive enthusiasts. And what they did was put together a three-year plan to address the, um, the operations, the collection, the preservation, and the sharing of the archives. There's a four-point plan and Steve, you asked me about not the operation pieces, but the funding piece. Yes. Uh, and uh, what they decided to do was to spread the, um, the work out over three years, but a big bulk of that funding preparation will be done in the fourth quarter of this year, 2011. And it's going to be kicked off with a federal grant uh, written by colleague Steve Harrington. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, and the team that will work off of what Steve has created will be Barrett Griffith and Sally Hutton. And they'll be doing research on what foundations would be interested in us and helping us preserve our history. Because as you can imagine, um, moving the archives material from the past to the present and creating it in a state for the future, it cost a little money, unfortunately. But we have a plan to ask foundations. The three-year plan also calls for asking um, individuals for maybe gift in kind of the things they need for the um, archives and maybe creating a wish list once a year. Uh, I, when I think of the archives and the overreaching theme, overarching theme, it's the power of the past, the promise of the future.